<laughs> Welcome back to uh, All World Gaming's uh, Cash Cup for uh, Valorant here today. JMU versus Imperium. We already had our very first game already um, with uh, JMU taking the map in pretty much very dom dominant fashion. Uh, overall, and uh, you know, they were playing very, very nicely for those that are just jumping in. Welcome back to the stream, or just welcome to the stream in general. Hi, my name is Asura. I'll be bringing you some incredible, incredible matches here today. We're going to be going straight to map two on Ascent, in fact. Um, and it's going to be cool. I'm excited. I'm ready for it. Um, it's going to be awesome. Uh, again, Valorant being the fun, fun, weird game that it is, is going to be interesting. But uh, for sure, we'll see whether or not JM, you can go ahead and um carry on with the momentum that they had initially from the previous map and carry it over to this map or will imperium find their comfortable and common ground here or you know we'll see we'll find out very soon as we get set now into map two on ascent let's do this see the both you know jam jam you going ahead and defending this time around you can see nostra going straight for the Sova here. Shadow going with the KO this time around, not going... It had the Chamber previously in the previous map there. Heiji going for the Astro, Kakins opting for the Neon, potentially. Dorocco looking over Harbour there. Hovering over Harbour, potentially. But going straight to the Jet now, K. Going for the Omen, potentially. We can see these pretty much characters that you would tend to see on Ascent quite a lot as well, in fact. Got two initiators there on the side of the defenders and uh, as well as also the attackers. Potentially, if Shadow goes ahead and locks in KO, in which they do, Pagey going for the Astra. It's going to be an interesting, interesting, uh, you know, uh, series that we have going on. Uh... Select your Swing agent. Swing on, I believe, Ma to make their pick, in fact. Um, okay, so here we go. Ascent for your very first uh, round of the um, of the series of the uh, map. As you can see now, both teams just getting ready to go ahead and set up their sites as per usual, as you would. Um, you can see now this map is also quite gorgeous. It's very very nice. Um, yes. Yeah, so the new the one that you guys are calling new is Astra. She came out quite a while ago. In fact, she plays. She, she's a controller. Um, you know, got smokes as well, and she has the ability to also suck opponents in, which could be kind of interesting, especially if there's a bit of a skirmish going down along mid, because if there's a, a whole fight going along mid, there's a potential possibility for smokes to go out, or even just a couple stars to go out, for potentially like going ahead and sucking in opponents to get them kills if they wanted to, as we can now go ahead and see that Imperium are going straight for the A push here, and you can see now two players waiting on tree as well here you can see d rocco and k waiting by tree there and already the team not wasting any time going straight for sight here waiting up in heaven there you can see Carmack trying to push through heaven there getting the spike planted their shadow good stuff from them d rocco getting that first pick on mid making that first kill look almost seamless 22 hp however you can see them trying to find this these kills both players both teams now on four players each now Shadow holding that uh, gen position right now. DeRocco going straight from heaven, I think, realizes going for the fake. In fact, breaking the window has to be careful because K Kagans is sitting really, really close there. You can see now Shadow just on the cusp there. Just, remaining. A little, just getting hit too hard. JMU, JMU, sorry, getting that first round. And again, that aggression just playing through really, really nicely once again there. And it seemed like, you know, the, the attackers really had it going uh, straight in and, you know, not wasting any time kind of catching the defenders off, you know, just by a bit. But 
you know, it, once again, JMU's uh, aggression on Ascent really went ahead and played nicely. Also, the fake by um, our Jet player on the attack on the defender side, uh, Dirocco, going ahead and blowing the window out, and then you know just kind of going from the going from the other side through tree and managing to get their picks really really nicely as well. With also. Um, uh, Noah going ahead and picking up some kills as well along the way, so they were able to go ahead and just fix up. JM, you have to be very, very careful here. As well as they are now going ahead straight towards A. However, there is a couple. They're all, they're all on A. They're all on A. You know what? It's a whole party here. K trying to find this kill through the smoke. Manages to get one. Tried to go through it once again. Ezra not able to get that dash in succession right now. Here you can see the fight absolutely going, ha absolutely like going ham right now. There's three heaven at the moment on the JMU fight side. Planted. Shadow trying to hold that, but Kamak managing to catch him from the flank on generator. And JMU again, not wasting any time, getting a swift 2 0 so far. Doing some really, really nice stuff there already. Pushing very nicely there. And again, it's just that aggression once more. There's not much else that can be said because the way that they are pushing their, their, their you know, they're trying to defend these sites are just very, very nice. They're, you know, using their Utah to their advantage here. Um, doing a really good job of it as well, Dorocco especially playing a really good part a lot in this as well and i mean k managing to go through and get that pick especially on the smoke the moment that the jet on their side uh just went ahead and you know sprinted out it was a bit of a tough position to a bit of a tough position to put yourself in no sort of managing to go ahead and get that uh orb wants to go ahead and maybe get this ultimate very very soon now you can see ezra trying to push in on site manages to get the smoke in sees the chamber in the corner but ma managing to use that spectre gets it out but it falling victim to the molly shadow able to get that pick with the molly there just something that you don't really tend to see quite a lot pagey waiting as well you can see kakens now two players waiting on b main there you can see K holding market there, trying to hold middle as well. Now, I think both players, oh, in fact, the entire team seems to be going breakthrough spawn and maybe trying to rotate, maybe potentially towards a site here. You can see they're just trying to play this really nicely. Noah, ah, he's in a good position. He manages to get one there. Manages to but then you get two, gets two with Aries. No, but Pagey, man, just stopping the absolute onslaught. Dorocco maybe trying to pick this up a little bit more right now. You've got to be around. There it is. Once again, you've got to have your gun out. You can't have your knife out. The Rocco Gun playing it absolutely incredible. Getting those trades. Catching a whole unaware team. JMU once again getting an absolutely dominant round. 3-0. They were caught on the rotate. They couldn't do anything about it either. And especially that awareness that they had was just immaculate. Their JMU playing a really, really nice round there. Good stuff to them. And it's just a thing of always having your gun out. You've got to be quite cautious no matter what. Because if somebody can hear you around the corners, man, it's scary. Valorant is a horror game. It's 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 definitely a horror game. It's most certainly a horror game. Speaking of which, Shadow holding that corner there, but no sort of able to get the pick. Able to get that uh able to get that trade, sorry. Doing a really, really good job. You can see now Kamek waiting for a potential B main push here. As you know, they're probably gonna be able to do that now, noticing that A is a bit of a dangerous push after what had happened just now on short there. You can see the players coming through now. Kermak waiting to potentially find this headshot. You can see the dash coming out there, but it doesn't seem to find it. It doesn't happen. Kakins and Ezra are able to go ahead and confuse the KO player. Not able to get that kill. The smoke was out at the perfect time. Kakins going for the plant here. It's a 2v4 situation right now. Mur holding on to this angle right now. Potentially trying to find somebody to swing out and get this kill. Wants to play this cautiously. Doesn't want to go and be too, has, uh, too uh, hasty with it either. However, Ezra just holding onto this angle notices that somebody did take out that drone, uh, that drone, so somebody has to be close. The turret is gone as well. Mur just trying to be this careful here. Manages to dodge the molly as well as the shot dart. Pagey there. there looking in the corner. Manages to get the very first player down was JMU. Are in a dangerous position. Pagey able to find the attackers. A nice, nice round here, and they're getting themselves on the board. 3-1, never say never.
honestly, they took that site really, really nicely. And against, the, you know, there was a bit of a tough time there, especially for our KO, KO player, Kamak, who was holding a Sheriff, especially, like, um, by spawn. Which is kind of a scary thing to do because, you know, when you have a Sheriff out and, you know, the <laughs> you're fighting against a lot of Vandals, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be quite dangerous. Did I see an Odin or am I bugging? I think I saw an Odin. I might I might be bugging. I thought I saw an Odin. We'll see. Two by tiles there trying to play this out here. Pam just biting off more than they can chew here. Pagey getting that nice trade here. Dorocco on 30 HP suppressed as well. The smoke is out. He's going to have to try and play this really... They're going to have to try and play this really carefully here. The star coming out against Kermak. Not able to get caught within that Murr. Managing to find their pick on Pagey. who was sitting in tiles, by the way. And it seems like all the players now are heading towards B here. You can see you've got two players pretty much holding mid Dorocco. But Kermak's able to go ahead and save their partner there. Because they're not able as a, you know... They were able to stop them from getting any more kills there. Ezra and Shadow holding on to the B site right now. It is a currently a 4v2 situation. However, Ezra going ahead and putting those numbers down. Holding on to, you know, to dear life right now. Any dart breakers? Indeed, we do have a dart breaker. There we go. Hunter Fury coming out. All the Kamehameha. And Nozara right manages to get one. Doesn't find a second there. Ezra sitting back site. Has to be careful. Doesn't manage to get the surprise kill as Kermak is able to find it. Getting that kill, defuse the spike, and make it a 4-1, uh, you know, situation, especially coming for JMU. Incredible, incredible stuff for JMU right there, and I mean, they played very, very nicely there as well, managing to catch that fast rotate, as well as also just being, and just anticipating any potential shots or any potential positions of a lot of their players as well, just saving them to... And always playing that numbers advantage, too. They're always really good at getting those picks, getting those kills. That is an Odin. I'm not bugging. That is an Odin. It is an Odin, dude. Okay. It's an Odin. Nice. I want to see an Odin ace. Like, that would, like, be the ideal situation, right? It's to just, you know, get the ace, you know, get that ace with that Odin. Speaking of, though, we're getting straight into it now. Is Shadow trying to push this mid here? As you can see now... Seems to be going not in their favor as they have to now fall back going through mid and potentially trying to find this ro uh, rotate towards A here. DiRocco and... Oh, hold on. They're both suppressed. Trying to go through tree here potentially. Going out. We see both players now on A main here. K in a pretty dangerous position, holding that judge, potentially waiting for somebody to peek Shadow. However, already on site, Imperium finding their positions here right now and already one kill with the Odin. Oh, JMU, JMU are doing a really good you job here, Jirocco. However, getting traded out by the Sova player. And K getting theirs with the Judge. Trying to potentially look for another gun hitch. Imperium's very own Shadow in a pretty dangerous position right now. Kakins not letting... Just staying back. Doesn't want to get too involved here. Holding that spike. Doesn't want to look for too much here. Mer trying to shoot down. This place is made of cardboard. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, ready. this is going to get really, really tough here. As their flash is coming out. And there's the 3k with the Odin. An absolute game changer here. 5-1. Good stuff there from JMU once again. And also, one thing to note is that the Odin on this map is probably going to always be a very nice and funny troll pick. Why, you may ask, is because for those that don't know and are watching Valorant for the first time, a good friend of mine told me that this map is made out of paper. And goddamn right, and goddamn right they are. They are 100% correct. So, you know, the Odin could, you know always be a very very dangerous thing that you have to look out for as you can see now all the players going ahead with a bit of a light by here they have to imperium suffering a little bit there as we're going ahead and popping that ultimate right now potentially trying to look for this push to rocco going ahead and getting one though doing a really good job of also popping their own getting that as well too Mur holding on to b main trying to get rid of this turret real quick however pagey manages to catch them lacking there the vandal sitting on the body they're potentially now pagey trying to hold b main once again now as two players have to try and defend it by themselves here now getting the star trying to catch the suck potentially once again de rocco getting these picks on the beam on the tiles here you can see now three trying to push through there. Ezra coming out onto site now. It's a battle of the knives. Everyone's throwing the knives. It's going crazy. Call it West London. Here's K manages to get the peak and get the pick off of Ezra there. Managing to get that kill. One enemy remains. Oh, Mac, however, goes to look for Find one. Doesn't get the B. second one. However, B main looking like... Oh. Like Absent Graveyard, but the Odin kill and Pam falls right here. to the Odin 
it's rough there. You can't really do much. No, sir, up doing an absolutely incredible, incredible job of getting that kill. 6-1. It's looking very, very unlikely for the other team to bring it back. Imperium in a very tough situation right now, as we can see now they are. Five round, five games down, man. It's it's not easy, man. Mo, however, has got their ultimate online, so could potentially look to see them holding a very nice and long angle, potentially mid as well towards Catwalk. Uh, but yeah, it's looking kind of interesting here. As you can see now, we're going for this A push here. You can see both three players. They're going for the drone. Kaken's trying to find some information potentially on the A site. However, there's already a fight going down on mid. They're not wasting any time. Vista cops 100%, and it's not going to look too good here the smoke is up on catwalk there pagey trying to instead go around not trying to force anything too much here throwing up a star but all hell has broken loose down on mid and as well as a imperium's very own shadow having to fall back the defenders trying to go ahead and now basically double up on this attack they're doing an absolutely incredible job getting that attack nice stuff there from pagey Man oh sorry not pagey but kaken's getting that kill on dirocco now it's a 4v3 situation here as we're doing a really good job now oh but Kamak me managing to get their kill so does k and now things are looking very very good on the jmu side once again now they're holding that site very nice one coming through tree the kamehameha flying out from the sober once again kaken's getting one now over the other sober getting two no seraph getting down Kermak holding this angle here. He's between trying to find a kill, switching to the classic, holding onto the Phantom there, and just manages to find it as the defenders go ahead and defuse the spike. Seven one. This game is going like rapid fire, lightning strikes, and everything, and all that stuff, and supersonic speed. I don't know, bro. I'm just saying random words. <laughs> Hoping for the best. We're here on the buy phase here. 7 1 at the moment. Once again, dominant rounds. And hey, JMU are doing a really good job of just. Just their aggression is just second to none right now. They're looking real dominant at the moment. And it's just hard for them to get in close. Kaken's now just going ahead with their team, trying to push in through K, throwing out that smoke now. They're aware that somebody is on site. Going ahead and throwing out their ultimate, though, however. Trying to suppress K in a tough position there. They already know Ezra getting the dash right after the kill. Holding on to the spike. Two up top on Heaven now. Nice spray. Nice spray. Ma holding on to an Odin, however. Trying to go ahead and, you know, Paper Mario folding in this situation. No Seraph trying to find a kill here. Doesn't manage to get it. There's the Silver, silver Dark trying to get that information. You kind of need it at this point. Shadow getting a kill with that volley. Both player players standing. now with their Odins respectively getting it. But as we're saying, not ah, play the game properly. Getting two kills there. It is now the story potentially of the 1v5 here. Carmack have. Oh, oh, I guess not. Yep, yep. Me too, bro. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Honestly, same. <laughs> Honestly, same. I. Yep, same. <laughs> if you're like really low, I, I would not try to do that, bro. I. Yeah. Yeah, never, never me, bro. Never me. It's cool, though. It's cool. I, I, I don't think one. I don't think I would want to take a one v five situation on. To me. Just you know, yeah. I feel that. I feel it. I feel it. Seven two, though. They get another one on the board, though. JMU now in a situation where they have to be on their toes right now as they stay on site here. K once again behind boxes here, but you can see now they're looking comfortable pushing A main as they had a pretty nice uh, round previously here. The team of Imperium coming through. Pam probably going to push the lead here. You can see a flash coming out once again. Ezra just dashing onto Sage. And Dirocco literally getting a kill here. Mo with two with two Odin kills there. K managing to pick up the slack a little bit there. Getting them kills. The Kamehameha kill coming out from... Um, from us over there and K picking it up once again Ezra is down the defenders on 8-2 doing an absolutely incredible job in the buy phase it is time for them to try and potentially find an answer here Imperium having one good round after another but then falling short the next it's looking kind of tough for them as JMU are managing to put on some incredible defense right now so far but yeah my eyes simply do not deceive the fact that there are two Odins in play right now ha huh. I respect it. I respect it. Very, very much so respect. Revealing area. Dark going through B main. They know that they're there. You can see potentially somewhat some somebody has to get detected eventually here. Mer holding onto the Odin. They know they can probably find something through the space a uh, spray here, but I think now the other team are aware that there's something going down here. Pam going for that fast rotate already. Mer going through a couple shots here, maybe trying to 
Oh, stop them from coming through B main right now. Turn back, sitting in the corner. Watch out for your angles there, man. Nice dash there from Ezra. Taken, falling short to it. However, Ezra managing to get that um, nice, nice trade there. DeRocco holding on to mid site right now. Trying to find something. Noise has been made. Noise are rough going ahead and getting that Odin kill. Some really, really good stuff. It's currently a 5v3 situation. Shadow in a tough situation. 1 HP. There's not much you can do. Ma, just managing to find them. Just trading, getting that damage there with that Odin. Tracing them out there. And there's not much you can really do here. You have to try and find a way to get in close. Because that, but them Odins are really a force of nature right now here. Peiji holding onto tiles right now. Try, trying to find somebody to potentially cross through mid here. But they have to be wary of the time as well here. It's a tough situation. 30 seconds left. They're just holding that there. They also have the spike, which is something that you have to be aware of. You can see Pam now holding on as well to top, as you can see. Trying to find these picks, trying to find these kills. But nobody on the map is currently moving. Everyone is stood still. 16 seconds left to go. 11, sorry, 10, 10 seconds left. 9, 8, 7, 6. They have to make a move soon. They can't really do much. The round has to be thrown here. Imperium are pretty much in stalemate scenario. That is it for them. 9 to the defenders managing to get it. But I guess they get to save their guns here. Last round before and the I mean, you know, they must be feeling really, really comfortable right now. Peiji, as you can see, had to go ahead and save that round. Wouldn't be able to force anything there, considering the fact that everybody was in a tough situation. They're just kind of staying still, waiting for something to happen. And once again, the Odins uh, coming out from both Nosarov and also uh, Murr as well. We saw that before k once again going straight to a main here and i think you can already see on your screens right now here ladies and gentlemen that they are going to go ahead and push a main the smoke is out the turret is up the drone is flying through the sky all that little line signs as we already start the action out here k falling short to the uh the shorty which is a pretty interesting way to go ahead and get that kill already we potentially see a 9-3 card here pagey Managing the plant comeback, not allowing it to happen. Though the dream might be denied here. Somebody dying. Everybody's dying right now. Everything's happening. The stuff is going down. Wine, a little bit of a fight there. Comeback falling short to Pam. Now it's a current 3 2 situation here. Pam waits, uh, sorry, trying to find a way to swing out without finding themselves in too much danger here. Both Odin players now just holding their, holding their angles there. However, Shadow sitting under hell manages to take out the other two players there while Peiji being taken out. By the JMU Switching team, sides. we are now seeing a 9-3 situation here. And for those that don't know, the 9-3 curse could potentially play into full effect. But we'll see. We'll see. through this by phase right now just kind of waiting it out here now so the 93 curse once again something could potentially flip never say never once again but you have to be careful here as you can see now there is a quick push onto b here now the b site is being taken over by jmu now kermac and already k managing to find their spaces on site right now pagey trying to find the defense here doing a top job of it too as well pagey trying to find these kills up from market now JMU pretty much got the site on a lot right now. However, Paige is trying to find these picks here. Come back on the corner there. You have to be careful. You can't be too, too like, lax about it even. Going for that reload there. You can see them trying Last to find these kills there. Paige getting that kill playing an absolutely incredible, incredible motion here. Now, K okay, in a tough scenario here, just whiffing those shots left, right, and center. Falling victim to the Astra player with the three kills on the Ghost and a defuse on top of the Defenders. Taking that next round. In fact, 9-4. We're seeing them creep up a little here. I should play some Astral Stars in this reality. We're at the 9-4 situation here. No, the curse is still in full effect here. It's still in full effect. It was a 9-3 curse. If they catch up and they end up winning, it's that's where the curse lies. 
Pickens. Now, everybody getting ready to go ahead and potentially pull this game in to their favor here, especially on the Imperium side. You can see them now trying, oh, sorry, JMU, trying to go ahead and get this round. Now they're going to go ahead and try and push onto A site. You can see both their players, Ma and Kakins, on top, on heaven. Just kind of waiting a little bit there. Kakins trying to go ahead and find these picks right now. The smoke is out as well. The Sova Dart to boot. JMU managing to find their space on site right now. Three up top on Heaven. They're trying to find these picks. Nine HP. Ezra is in deep trouble right now, especially if they're able to get these kills. Trying to shoot through the floor. You see Nosaref and one in hell as well there. Kermak trying to find these kills. DeRocco as well as they are sitting on 100 HP. JMU's doing a very good job. Trying to do some, uh, trying to do some damage here. Pam just coming out from the flank on tree. You have to be careful now. They know that somebody's there. They're going to try and push it there. Pam trying to go for the 2k, but doesn't manage to get a JMU on top there. Now Shadow in getting a kill there. How will fall short to JMU's? No, sir, after Ezra getting a kill. But Kermak just getting it now on the attackers, making it 10 4. Now they only need three more to win the game as well as the series here in a 2 0 fashion. But it seems like, you know. They were able to pick themselves straight back up off of a round loss. Doing an incredible job of doing so. Yeah, and a reminder that if JMU win this again, it'll be a 2-0 victory. However, if Imperium managed to bring this back, we will be taking it to map 3 to uh, just to split. Which is uh, going to be interesting if we ever do go to split. If not, then it doesn't matter, but we will see where this goes to get started. Now, Kaken's going straight ahead, trying to find some information for their team. Now, Pam trying to, you know, hold their hold their angle as well, hold their flank potentially off of on the mid side here too, going through on market there once again. Pam in a 2v1 situation. However, Kaken's managing to get Kermak out of there. DeRocco managing to take out uh, Kaken's there. It's looking kind of tough right now for the uh, opposing side, for the defenders. It's very, very scary here, Ezra. Managing Fight to even planted. out the odds, making it 3-3 Imperium, trying to push through market here, trying to find the defense right now, because that's what they want to do. The attackers managing to go ahead and plant a little bit there. They have to be careful, man. K in a very tough situation. Oh, sorry, in a very uh, weird position there, but Mur able to go ahead and get that kill with the Stinger. No less Mur able to One find another remaining. kill here, potentially. However, Nusra managing to get Shadow here. The attackers once again prevailing, getting it now to 12-4 here. Again, just needing one more to end it here, I think. Oh, sorry, 11-4, sorry. Just needing two more to end it here. That double peak playing straight into uh, market as well, man. And I mean, it's not an easy it's not an easy thing to deal with. Once you get too overwhelmed by two players on you and Pam finding themselves in that situation once again, it's not very not very good look for you, is it? Especially for the team. Because that means that they can instantly push. They already have two men on there. But if you're able to get a spray chance, you can like, follow it up and fix it. But... Guess not. You know, Kagan's trying to hold market there. Now, Pagey maybe drawing a full victim here on Trees. The entirety of JMU going for a bit of a split push here towards A. Now, the Molly out. Pagey, someone is already aware. However, none of their team pulls. Ezra managing to get the first kill here. KK, uh, Kermak managing to get their second. Again, the second kill of the game, in fact. Managing to get the first one for JMU. Now we're seeing a 4 4 situation here. Shadow just able to get that pick. Now, Kermak down. No, sorry, right down here. Kaken's getting that kill. JMU falling like flies right now. It's a 3 3 situation. Trying to potentially even out the odds here. JMU doing a very good job of communicating. One hell, however, getting that kill. One That's huge. Remaining. That's huge. Last Shadow, though, standing. however, able to go ahead and even out the odds here. 1 1 situation here. Stay K excited. maybe might want to go ahead and win this to seal it out for his team here. Going towards heaven now, maybe going for the plant here. You can see the fuse coming out. He has to be really careful holding on there. You got a little bit of time on here, buddy. Trying to find that headshot, manages to get it. K doing an absolutely incredible job of getting that kill. What a way to match seal the point. round. And they are on match point of the series. K bringing it home for their team. They now, man, Imperium have to find an answer very soon because even if they do, it's it's looking like it's pretty much JMU's series to win at the moment.
Even if they lose, they lose one game. They have nothing to lose. They have an entire round to go ahead and get this. And as you can see, a very comfortable B push right now. They are going straight for it. Kamek being the first one on entry. Manages to get that kill. Pam in an unaware position there. However, going ahead now, you can see Paige getting that kill on Kamek. Having to be very, very careful right there. Not able to get that kill. Kikins there, however, falling short to K. And now JMU doing a really good job of going ahead and just pushing the site really nicely. Is Rocco not den well, denying any options there? Ezra with the having, having their ult out here. Jet trying to throw out those knives, denying any uh, like opportunities there from the, the 1v4 situation. Could this be the round that they need, or will it? They, will they fall short here? That's one down. That's two down. That's three down. It's 1-1. One, one. Could this be the story of the 1v3? Could it be this round? Could it be this round? Is it over now? No, Seraf finding the position here, going ahead, throwing out that arrow, man. What a three kill there coming out from the jet player. Unbelievable. This idiot. is looking to be a nail biter here. The defense coming up from Ezra. Remember, this is completely wall bangable. They're coming through now. The knives could potentially play a part here. They're whiffing quite a bit now. Oh my gosh, this is looking kind of dangerous. The sheriff is now Ezra, saving it for their team, trying to get the defuse, but that's it. It's over. Attackers the attackers win. win. 13 for Ascent map taken by JMU and the series going to them as well. Incredible, incredible stuff there from both teams. What a way to end it.